previous lecture we have defined the reinforcement for the rectangular column the bars of footing beams and other structural members but now we will be creating a circular column and then assigning it reinforcement for the main bars and the spiral ties and circular ties as well circular tie is very straightforward while spiral tie is quite tricky to assign in autodesk revit so we will be discussing the important features of assigning reinforcement in the revit structures so right now i am creating a circular structural column taking the column as 24 inches diameter you can change the parameters for the level placement level and the depth or height whether you are working in the depth or height these parameters we have discussed in details in the initial lectures when creating a basic revit model you can click on link in description for the complete autodesk revit course in which we have provided the playlist for revit So now I'll be drawing the circular Since the column is not visible in our view, so we'll have to change the view options and see how to make it visible in the Revit. Right now I am tweaking with the phase. So the column is visible in level 1. We can add the section view here. Since we need the section from the center line so yes we have cut the section from the center line now. Let's change the scale as the section line is appearing to be quite large. Okay. Now going to the section. Importing the rebar shapes in Autodesk Revit. Let's place rebar in Autodesk Revit in column. To turn the wall the bar visibility as solid in 3D, I have checked the options.
you can change the bar diameter from here right now I'm drawing the axis lines so that I can easily mirror it so now I'm copying the bar to the center of my reference line Press tab to cycle the selections. Now we have assigned the circular main bars of the circular column. You can delete the detail lines now. Change their visibility to 3D extruded view so that we can view them as solid in 3D. Now see the 3D view we have assigned the bars. Now we will be assigning the stirrups or spiral reinforcement for the shear of the column. It's up to you whether you assign the ties, bar or the spirals. We have to importantly select the placement in a correct manner so that the bar is placed as we want it you can change the cover you can change the diameter of the bar and the cover of the bar as well as the spacings i have specified the bar as a 3 by 8 inches diameter Now changing the view to 3D extruded view. Now the bars are visible clearly in 3D. You can change the bar spacing or the pitch of the spirals as well. Here you can see the parameters which can easily be changed from here. You can change the bar, round diameter or the tie bar diameter, the rotation diameter from here as well. 
in order to specify the cover of the column let's move the main bar a little bit inside and then I'll have to copy it on all the sides since I have moved one rebar so I'll be deleting the rest of the rebars and making a copy of the corrected rebar since I have corrected the cover and assigned it on the face of the spiral enforcement Now let's make them visible as solid in 3D view. You can change the pitch of the stirrups or the spiral reinforcement easily from the properties you can change the hook lens of the turning points from here If you need to increase or decrease the spacing or the pitch of the spirals, select the spirals. You can also modify other parameters from here. change the pitch from here and the spacing will increase if you increase the pitch and if you decrease the pitch the spacing will decrease that is how we assign the main reinforcement and spiral reinforcement in a circular column